The men in black phenomenon often refers to mysterious individuals who are often described as wearing black suits and hats, appearing to have an air of authority and control. These figures have been a recurring theme in UFO and paranormal lore, gaining significant attention in the 1950s and beyond. During the 1950s, there were numerous reports of encounters with these peculiar men in black, often in relation to individuals who claimed to have witnessed unidentified flying objects or UFOs um, or had some other paranormal experiences. These encounters were often detailed in books, articles, and personal testimonies contributing to the mystique surrounding the MIB. One of the earliest documented cases involving the Men in Black occurred in 1953 when Albert K. Bender, the founder of the International Flying Saucer Bureau, claimed to have been visited by three Men in Black clothing who pressured him to cease his UFO research. Bender's account, published in his book Flying Saucers and the Three Men, helped establish the existence of the Men in Black as intimidating and intrusive figures attempting to suppress UFO investigations. While the exact nature and origin of the Men in Black phenomenon remains contentious, several theories attempt to explain their existence. 1. Government Agents One popular theory suggests that the MIB are government agents or officials tax tasked with suppressing information about UFOs and other potentially sensitive topics. Proponents of this theory argue that these individuals might use intimidation and threats to discourage witnesses from sharing their experiences. 2. Paranormal beings. Some believe that the MIB are not human, but paranormal entities or extraterrestrial beings themselves. This theory suggests that they may be sent to investigate and intimidate those who have encountered UFOs or other supernatural phenomena. 3. Social and psychological factors. Another perspective suggests that the MIB might be a product of social and psychological factors. Encounters with unusual phenomena can trigger feelings of fear and paranoia, leading witnesses to perceive ordinary people as mysterious and threatening. 4. Hoaxes and Pranks Skeptics propose that some MIB encounters could be hoaxes or pranks orchestrated by individuals seeking attention or attempting to discredit UFO witnesses. This theory suggests that not all MIB reports can be taken at face value. The men in black phenomena in the 1950s remains a fascinating and puzzling aspect of UFO and paranormal lore. While numerous reports and testimonies exist, their identity and purpose continue to ex elude explanation. Whether rooted in government secrecy, the paranormal, social, psychology, or hoaxes, the men in black remain a compelling mystery that intrigues the world of unexplained phenomena. Eyewitness Testimonies Number 1 Albert K. Bender, 1953 Albert K. Bender, a prominent UFO researcher and founder of the International Flying Saucer Bureau, claimed that he was visited by three men in black after announcing he had uncovered the truth about UFOs. According to his account, they warned him to cease his investigations and threatened him with dire consequences if he didn't comply. This encounter led Bender to abruptly end his UFO research and shut down his organization. Eyewitness encounter number two, Dr. Herbert Hopkins, 1976. Dr. Herbert Hopkins, a family physician, reported an unsettling encounter with a man in black after his involvement in a UFO investigation. The man arrived at his home shortly after Hopkins had spoken with a UFO researcher on the phone. The Men in Black's strange behavior included the ability to distort his facial features and making a coin disappear and reappear. The, the Man in Black ordered Hopkins to destroy his research 
and then left, leaving Hopkins deeply disturbed. Eyewitness account number three, Dan Aykroyd, 2002. Actor and UFO enthusiast Dan Aykroyd shared a personal encounter with a man in black-like figure. According to his story, Aykroyd received a phone call from a government agent who was knowledgeable about his UFO interests. The agent questioned Aykroyd about his beliefs and experiences, leaving him feeling as if he were being monitored by authorities. While this account isn't a traditional in-person encounter, it showcases the sense of surveillance often associated with MIB encounters. Eyewitness account number four, Harold Dahl, 1947. Although predating the 1950s, the case of Harold Dahl is considered a precursor to the men in black phenomenon. Dahl claimed to have witnessed mysterious objects over Murray Island, Washington. After his account was published, he allegedly encountered a man in a black suit who warned him to stay silent about his sighting. The man presented himself as a government agent and even handed Dahl a piece of quote-unquote UFO debris to support his story. The incident raised suspicions of a hoax, but it also contributed to the early narrative of men in black encounters. Opinions regarding the men in black phenomenon are diverse. Some individuals view the accounts as evidence of government cover-ups or other mysterious forces attempting to suppress information about UFOs and the paranormal. These believers see the stories as a way to explain the intimidation that witnesses have explained during the unusual phenomenon. On the other hand, skeptics often attribute the men in black encounters to hoaxes, misinterpretations, or psychological factors. They argue that the stories could be embellished or fabricated. The intimidating figures could be regular individuals playing pranks or trying to gain attention. Overall, belief in the men in black phenomenon varies widely, with some considering it a fascination and a plausible aspect of the UFO and paranormal narrative, while others view it as a mix of urban legend and psychological factors. If you have any pictures or personal experiences about this, please email me. Link is in the description and I will read them on the show. 